Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. We're on Totley Moor between Foxhouse and Ullabar Roundabout. I've never ever walked across here. I've been through on bike, I think, years ago, but never actually walked across it. Nah, some tricks on here somewhere. I think there's one on here. And a couple other side towards Tartley, so let's go and find them. Oh, I bet I'm not even quarter of a mile in, and the path just sort of vanished. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Another day of stopping and pulling bits of leather out my feet. Uh, right, it's just gone eight o'clock. Sun's up. It's already 20 degrees. Be, dinner, be what? Dinner time, 12 o'clock. It's going to be high 20s. You're going to see me melt. There is a path buried under here somewhere. Finally found a path. That last four or five hundred yards of hard work cutting through heather. It's, uh, you can see there's got to be a twig sticking up out of here somewhere. We're going to work brow of this hill. Unless it's one of them maddens where they stick it somewhere else. <laughs> can you see that? I got all excited. I thought I'd find a twig sticking up then. I found it now. I can just see it top on it on that little brow there. I just see it flat top. Yeah, I thought it was that post for a minute. Hopefully, I can pick some paths up from here. Because I don't fancy walking through any more of that. It's horrible, that stuff. My feet are full of bits already. It's in need of a lick of paint, but it looks on it. This is where I thought would trig. It's not. It's there, look. I think it's flask edge, this one. Flask edge, 395 metre. If you can just make Sheffield out, ain't missed. Brook Chatsworth. So William Hill, just about visible. And just the hope cement works. You'll like that one, Steve. And back round to Rigator. Right. That's Triggy. As I've just done that 360, I noticed a big pile of rocks there now. I'm thinking that big pile of rocks I can see from Main Road, and I've always wondered what they were. Can I get to them? Can I get to them? No, not without cutting through that lot. Try and circle back round on them, all the way back up. Because this next one 
This is this way. I think it's called Blacker Plantation. Right, I've done some out of character for me. I've looked at a map. <laughs> Apparently, it looks like it's in that tree line there somewhere. I can see a little road that runs behind it, so put trigs over there in that corner. Now, so I'll go that way and line through trees, or down there and up through trees. Dilemmas. Could be an heads and tails job again, this. Hmm. Train tunnel there, you don't see smoke that's just come out in it a minute ago. I if a steam train's just gone through. Right, so I've turned left, guys. Gone uphill way. One. I wanted to see what that bit of building were there and train tunnel and on map that track were labelled Monk's Road or Old Monk's Road, I can't remember what it said and the bottom one were Monk's Pass so I'm guessing somewhere way back when this were an old Monk's track or something like that Kinda of guessing Bowsheaf Abbey's down there somewhere in Sheffield. So I'm wondering if that what main roads into it. So it's the first video I ever did with Shillitoe Cross. That were a old monk's track and all for Bowsheaf, so I'm presuming either this is the same section of path, if it is they got it a bit wonky or it were another one coming in from uh, Aversage somewhere like that I don't know I don't know I never do my own work on these walks makes it boring doesn't it if you know exactly what you're doing and where you're going uh, so we flash gauge trig where is it up there Every time me and Danny used to go out on Ethel's, Danny, my brother, anybody who don't know, used to say, surely there's a trig round here somewhere, there's got to be. There's a massive great eye bit in the middle of the rest on them, and next nearest them is Birchin Edge, which is the other side, so you'd never get a clear line of sight, so the levelling would never work, would it? If there's a dirty great hill in way. Anyway, I'll stop rambling now. It's just an old retro building. And between me and it is marsh grass. I'm not going through that. Always see these up here. Always. But you can never get close enough to film them. I clocked them coming over at Brower Hill, so I've stood still for about five minutes and they're slowly but surely making their way past me. Sheep don't mind at all, do they? Come on, you catch up. Just come past me. Oh, that one's a bit brave. <laughs> He's gone. 
That's proper for a smile on my face then, do you? Anyway, we've walked down the track a bit, and I'm guessing that's main road from Fox House to Sheffield. Again, there's the guitar. So yeah, it's gotta be. It's gotta be. In fact, yeah. Right, I guess there's some uh, tarmac bashing coming up. So I'll pick you up on the side of the road. So all you'll get is road traffic and not good. So yeah, I'll pick you up in when I get to them woodlands up there. Right, so I've made it into these woodlands. Hopefully, there's a trig down and rail waiting for us. I'm not sure if there's some sort of running or cycling event going on, but there were a checkpoint up there. I guess I couldn't get planning permission for it here. <laughs> Let's put it there. Little things like that, that make me smile. Just mad random stuff in the middle of nowhere. Right, hopefully, this bloody trig's round here somewhere. I'm not even sure if it's part of Peak 88. I'm not even sure if we're in Peak District. If we aren't, we're just on borders. Yeah, looking at our power using, it's on the end of these trees somewhere. So hopefully, I'll stumble across it soon. I think there's a little side road that runs out to, to Ringing Lower somewhere. And I ain't crossed that yet, so hopefully. But what a glorious little woodland. When I first got in there were loads of people. You get a bit further in. I've not seen anybody now for a good five, ten minutes. Decisions, decisions. I want one that's not marked. Right, so after a bit of a battle through all these woods and uh, brambles and stuff, I found it. It is behind a fence, but it's reachable. I'm not going to be able to get its nameplate, but that's tapped off for me. In fact, I could jump this. Right, so I've climbed up onto the wall, onto the top of the pillar, jumped over. Let's get it tagged off properly. Blacker Plantation, 295 metre. I really don't get it. A few yards down from that trig, pretty much like that one behind me. Why? Why you've used all effort to get up here? Just do what I did, just use pillar and leapfrog onto it. It's the farmer's gotta build his wall back up now. Why? Why? It's it's stupid. Don't get me wrong. I'm not against going on private land to get them. Encourage it. Just don't smash it up. It's your neckers all look bad. There were probably five or six gate posts on that wall line. 
you could have used to leapfrog over. Like I say, you've made all that effort to get there. Just brain dead. Absolute brain dead. Anyway, on to the next thing. Which is probably on private land. Look at this for a view. It's where I came in up there. All the way around top. Look. Look at this view down valley. That's awesome. Well, I was going to head out to Rockstone and ring in low trees, but nah, <laughs> nah. Sun's out full white now. It's warm, very warm. So I've done a U-turn and heading back to Tartley and this hill is kicking <coughs> great and there's some steps now at all nice yeah it's just got too hot probably only got a litre at two and a half of water with me uh, gonna run out of liquid soon which is never a good idea so yeah, that's sod it. Turn back. There's an idea where it's put steps in the bloody middle of a path. That's just not on. Right. So up them steps, turn left. And hopefully, if you can pick that bike up, that only time no cars ever come past. I think that's main road to roller bar somewhere up there. It is, I can see it. But before we get there, there's a trick somewhere over here. Let's go and find it. them all come out and get me. I hope there's a bumblebee among them. That is steep. The heat bouncing up off this road's unreal and all. I've just had a look at my phone. Saying 28 degrees but it's warmer than that here. A lot warmer. Right so that's main road. Up, 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 and I'm hoping it's here somewhere. It is, I can see it. I think. Yeah, I can see it top. God, it's warm. Anyway, Totley Tree, 233 meter, and I felt them. Let's have a spin. The chef, that's door Totley. Uh, that's blacker where we've just been up there. Oof, it's easier going down. Right. Flash up there where I started, behind this mast. And I'm just going to walk up road. Either cut across moors or straight to roller bar and back down main road. You know it's warm when all sheep are under trees. Right, 
right guys that's all the bar roundabout behind me you know it's warm when even road bikers are having to stand up all right so we're about what just over eight mile in should imagine it'll be just under nine bit time i'm back at car everything's fine feet are fine legs are fine just ease heat and lack of water hey no prizes on YouTube for uh, killing yourself to death with your exhaustion, so I'm calling it. Sad it I've done. Yeah. Anyway, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Please give us a big thumbs up if you got to end. Consider subscribing. I'll see you on next.